This is the Power Smokeless Grill, advertised as an indoor grill and griddle with virtually no smoke. But does it really work? Let's check it out in today's review. Hey guys, this is James White with Freak Interviews, bringing you as seen on TV product reviews, gadget reviews, and more. Now, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so for more videos like this. Now today, this is one of my most requested items in recent months. This is the Power Smokeless Grill, which I look forward to getting into right now. Now, if you remember, in late 2017, I actually reviewed the Gotham Steel Smokeless Grill, which was a bit hit and miss as far as I was concerned. This one looks like it has the same kind of idea, but a little bit different technology. So it'll be nice to see how it works and compare it to the original Gotham offering. So without further delay, let's unbox it and get started. It's time to crack this guy open while Bailey watches on. Oh, it's a big one. Nice presentation. That's something the Gotham Steel was sorely missing, so that's kind of a nice sight. Looks like we've got two recipes. Who needs a recipe guy when these two will suffice everybody, right? Owner's manual. Quick start guide. The dreaded arbitration agreement. Oh, we still got a ways to go. Well, that's a lot of stuff here, so uh, I need to familiarize myself with these instructions before I attempt to get started so I do it properly. So I'm going to turn this camera off, read through these a couple times, welcome to the wonderful world of smokeless grilling, and then I'll get back and do some cooking. All right, here are all of the components set out. So the first thing you're supposed to do is wash everything and then fill this with two cups of water. Bailey can't wait to have some grilled food. Do you really need to wash the drip pan? Yes, I will. Two cups. First, the collection pan. Then the drip tray. The heating element. All right, we have the grill in there now. The, the griddle I'm gonna use later or tomorrow when I do some pancakes. And the lid will be our cherry on top. Now, let me get the Gotham Steel smokeless grill and compare the, just the initial observations of these two. Uh, the Gotham Steel is more square. This is more rectangular. This one has the lid. This one doesn't. The heating element is right against the surface of the grill on the Gotham Steel. On here, the heating element is separate. Uh, this is kind of a pain because you really can't submerge the grill. You can't put the dishwasher because it's attached to the heating element. I thought it did good the first couple times I used it, but once I made, I think it was steak on there, this non-stick surface kind of got destroyed. The non-stick surface never really worked the same after that again. On the power smokeless grill, the grill and the griddle can go in the dishwasher. This has to be washed by hand, which as you can see, I never got some of the stuff out of there. I scrubbed. I thought that was a flaw of the Gotham Steel. Oh, also this one includes a fan to pull the smoke in. This one just has a drip tray. This has a drip tray and a fan. This one looks like it might have a few better design features. That doesn't mean it's gonna work any better. So the proof is gonna be in the cooking, which is next. All right, I've just put the power on here and set it and I'm seeing some smoke arising. Setting the temperature, it doesn't look like you set a specific temperature unless I'm not doing it right. Hit it once and it goes up. So I'm gonna let that, whatever's on there burn. I did wash it, but I'm gonna let whatever's on there burn off and then get started. The Gotham Steel is already preheated, so it'll be ready to go when the power smokeless grill is ready to go. They're done preheating now. There's a bit of a plasticky smell coming out of the power smokeless grill. I don't think it's the grill itself because I already washed that. So maybe it's one of the other pieces that are just uh, warming up down there. I'm not too worried about it, but it appears to be done preheating so is this one so let's get some burgers on here and see how they go yes i'm using pre-made hamburger patties i know it's a mortal sin to some people i didn't have time to prepare them myself so i just got these i, I think it'll still adequately demonstrate how well the grill works though this size i'm not sure i'm gonna get six i might get five i'm gonna do four on each we have got hamburger sizzle i could have fit a fifth one on there I only had a package of eight. So it looks like this would hold about five of these wider patties. This one holds, I don't know if I could get a fifth one on there or not. Not too much of a size difference, I don't think. This one only has the drip tray. This one's got the secret weapon. Boom! 
Got the fan. You know I'm, gonna I'm gonna wait until it starts smoking and see how much of a difference the fan makes. You smell that? Oh, you smell it, don't you? She smells it. The instructions do recommend to cook with a lid on. So this one has no lid. Well, there we go. The lid is on. In fact, I'm gonna put the fan on and see how much of a difference that makes. I'll come back and check on these in a few minutes when they're ready to flip. Or if they start smoking, one of the two. All right, as these continue to cook, you'll notice the smokeless grill does have a little bit of smoke coming off of it as the hamburgers get hotter. This one with the lid on, you can't really tell. Let's lift it up and see what we got. Looks like the fan is pulling most of the smoke in. I'd say in the very early stages, this power smokeless grill is out in front. A long way to go, though. Oh, we have grill marks. <laughs> Smokeless grill. Let's see at the fan without the lid on, see what happens. Oh yeah. The smoke disappeared. Watch. Fan off. Smoking again. Fan on. Nope. This one's calmed down a little bit, but there still is some smoke coming out of here. Whereas there's no smoke coming out of that one because it's got a lid and a fan. As far as the smoke goes, I'm already calling this power smokeless grill in the smoke category the superior product. That's not going to be fun. I'm, I'm already dreading this one. Now for the part I don't like about these reviews is having to clean this off. Here's the final product. Does one of these look better to you? Which one do you think is better looking? I can tell you that this is the Gotham Steel and this is the Power Smokeless Grill. The grill marks are a little bit more pronounced than the Gotham Steel. As far as grilling goes, they're both cooked at the appropriate temperature. This one has the nice looking grill marks though. So Gotham Steel is coming up from behind even though this one smokes less. First up, I'm gonna try the Power Smokeless Grill, one of these burgers. It's cooked inside. Looks fine. That one tasted fine, pretty much what I expected. Now let's try the Gotham Steel. Also nicely cooked. Gotham Steel came out pretty good too. All right, so round one, I think that the Gotham Steel did better on grill marks. The Power Smokeless Grill did better on the smoke. Both equal on the taste. So let's see if in round two we can get a clear winner. Let's see what's underneath here. That's, that's not fun. The drip pans are not too worried about. Those just wipe off. But the grills are what I'm more, mostly worried about. Got my stopwatch here. I'm going to time myself clean both of them. Remember, this is touted for its nonstick surface. But what I found is that after the first couple uses, the nonstick surface was pretty much gone. So now it just takes a lot of elbow grease to clean these things. I'm reminded why I dislike this so much. I, it's not even a perfect job, but I just got the top of the grill cleaned off. There's still all, a lot of the crevices there still have stuff in there, but I'm going to hope that burns off on my next round. But over four minutes and a real pain. All right, let's lift this up and see what's underneath there. That doesn't look too pleasant either, but at least this part comes off. This one you can submerge in water. Even though there's a lot of crevices in here, nothing really seemed to stick that much. And now I know it's new. So the first time I'm gonna not be so impressed because let's see how it does after a couple of things. But after the first use, it cleaned up pretty well. I've got some steaks ready to go here. One on each grill. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good too. When I put it on there, I could feel it just grab onto the surface. Did not slide at all. This one, sliding around. I understand this is a newer nonstick surface, but I don't know if this one ever did that. And now we wait. Now it's just a matter of sitting here watching these steaks. I'm sure I'm tired if I put my head down for a nap. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> I've got my clever tongs. I'm going to flip these. We, got, we definitely have more smoke now. And let's see if I put this fan on. Gone. Put the lid on even more gone, so no smoke. 
This one gets some smoke. The grill marks are nice on the Gotham steel, I will say that. They're not quite as impressive. You can see those skinny grill marks here. I would say right now we've got less smoke, better grill marks, and better cleaning. The edge is going to the power smokeless grill right now. All right, I've just checked them with my digital thermometer. They're ready to come off. A lot of smoke. <coughs> smokeless. That's what we got, guys. Got them still better grill marks, less smoke. Both, however, are cooked quite well. Now I gotta deal with that again. Cleaning wise, that doesn't look as bad, and that can go in the dishwasher, which I'm gonna do that after my next test. This, I, I dread that already. Cut into these and see how they look. Can I cut a little wedge out of here? I'm trying to hit the center area here to see how it looks. Which one is better? Power smokeless grill? Got them steel, or are this the same? First taste is the power smokeless grill. Next up, the Gotham steel. If I'm being picky about the taste, I want to say the Gotham steel may have tasted slightly better, but it's very hard to tell because they're so close. Well, I have some more tests to do, but unfortunately, I've got to clean these next, which is my least favorite thing about any of these grills. All right, they've been cleaned up, and it's time for round three. Some chicken breast. Let's try that. We got sizzle. The two grills are going. Let's see how they compare. So far, it's been pretty even on the cooking, but the clean is really rough on there. And the smoke is really good on there. So let's turn these over and see how they look. First, they got them steel. Nice grill marks. I like them. Not bad. Now the power smokeless grill. Once again, much less impressive grill marks. The chicken is done. This is the Gotham Steel Power Smokeless Grill. Even though I like a lot of the features of the Power Smokeless Grill, the Gotham Steel has better grill marks. I still like those better. What do you guys think? This one I'll be curious to see how it goes because it's got some kind of caked on stuff there. Not really coming off. Let's we'll see what the dishwasher can do to this. Bye bye, smokeless, smokeless grills. All right, let's see how these items did in the dishwasher. Not too bad. I mean, obviously it's not perfect, but all the stuff came off. That looks good. This is the Gotham Steel tray. It came out pretty nicely too. And perhaps most importantly, the grill from the Power Smokeless Grill looks perfect. Now I've got one more test to do, and that is on the griddle side. So let's try some pancakes on both of these and then wrap this thing up. With the griddle for the Gotham Steel, the griddle for the Power Smokeless Grill. Gonna make up some pancake mix and see how they work. These have both been preheated to medium. I've got my pancake mix. Now, part of this test is to see how well this nonstick surface does. This one I don't believe got degraded like the grill did because I didn't cook anything on really high heat. So I'll be curious, without any kind of spray or oil, how well these do in a nonstick surface. Make one big pancake. I'm gonna start with this and see how it does. Then I'll make the rest. I think this is ready to flip. Didn't stick. Ooh, that looks nice. Not bad, James. This one has a little bit more to go, I think. Peeking underneath this one, it's not really getting brown on the bottom. I turned the heat up a little bit. It seems ready to flip, but it's not brown. This one is done. Gotham Steel comes through on the griddle. This one is just not getting brown. Maybe the heat isn't high enough. I'm gonna try another one with higher heat and see how that goes. A couple small ones on this one. Well, this is gonna be a trial and error because I wasn't sure how high to put the heat on this one. I picked a temperature I don't think was right, so I'm gonna go a little higher on the next one and see if I can get a better results. Because this is, I don't, I'm sure it tastes fine, but that's not really, that's, I mean, Got them steel looks better, doesn't it? Not too bad. Boom. I'm just going to give up on this one and start over again. I have more confidence this time. I have faith in the power smokeless grill. And this time the power smokeless griddle. All right, these look like they're ready to flip. Huh. Not very brown. All right, I've got the heat cranked all the way up and I just got 
slightly brown on, on this batch, slightly brown. I'm a bit of a loss here. These things uh, should be browner than that. I'm gonna try my last bit of batter and see if I can get one of these brown. I'm gonna leave it on even longer and see what happens. I left it on a little bit longer. Let's see what it looks like. Hey, I got a little bit of brown. Still not as brown as the Gotham Steel and I left it on for several minutes. All right, here's what we got. Gotham Steel on the right, Power Smokeless Grill on the left. Now this is the one that I left on high for as long as possible. The other ones, they certainly seem ready, but they didn't come out that good. I'm gonna have to play around with this grill for the temperature and the times because it didn't seem as natural as the Gotham Steel, which I flipped them when it seemed right and they came out right. This one I flipped them when they seemed right and they didn't come out right. But I'm getting closer, so I think that the grill is doable, you just have to play with the times a little bit. All right guys, that's all I've got. Let's take a look at some of the features and how they compare. As far as the smokelessness goes, I definitely think the edge goes to the power smokeless grill. Not only does it have a fan and a lid, but to me the comparison was not even close. The Gotham Steel just has a drip pan, but the smoke comes off of the food anyway, so smokelessness, Power Smokeless Grill definitely takes the cake on that one. As far as the cleaning goes, I think that that's also another one that goes the Power Smokeless Grill. The Gotham Steel is so hard. To me, that's the deal breaker. That's the reason I wouldn't buy that product again because the cleaning is just too time consuming, too difficult, and it's not even easy to really get everything off. This is the best I can pretty much do. It's not perfect. As far as the grill marks goes, I, that one definitely goes the Gotham Steel. The grill marks were clearly better. The Power Smokeless Grill has these kind of thin grill marks. That could be just a design difference because of the size of the, of the grill itself, the Gotham Steel. Gotham Steel grill marks were clearly better than the Power Smokeless Grill. Now the griddle, I'm not really sure about that one. The Gotham Steel did well actually, better than the Power Smokeless Grill, but I think the Power Smokeless Grill the griddle itself may not get as hot, so I'm having to play around with it. My final attempt, I was getting some brown pancakes. So I think the griddle for the Power Smokeless Grill is gonna take a little bit of trial and error before you get that one right. But to me right now, my initial test, the griddle goes to the Gotham Steel. Now as far as the non-stick surface goes, to me the Gotham Steel, it's non-stick surface pretty much degraded after the second use. And it's never really been the same since then. So the Power Smokeless Grill, I've washed several times, put in the dishwasher, and it still held up. So to me, the nonstick surface clearly goes to the Power Smokeless Grill. And finally, the cost. The Gotham Steel typically goes for about 80. The Power Smokeless Grill, 100 to 120. So the Gotham Steel is cheaper, but in my case, I wouldn't buy it again because the nonstick surface is gone and clean is impossible. Neither one of these are perfect, but if I had to choose one of these, I would definitely go with the Power Smokeless Grill because grilling inside, the smoke is significantly less, and to me, that's the reason people are buying this. Have you used one of these products? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures, videos as I go, and my Patreon page. Please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.